Here we go, fully mobile Tesla, friends. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Sunday in our day, A in our chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is the fully mobile Tesla coil. So let's get it. By the way, all the Tesla vlogs right here. Watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. I freaking did it. It is so awesome. I made it fully mobile. I made the mini Tesla coil fully mobile, mini Tesla coil vlog right here. Check it out if you want to know more about the contraption itself from my granddad. Shout out to my granddad as always. And also there's another relevant vlog in which I found out that you can actually drive a Tesla coil with a 400 kV module. These little buggers right here that you can get for two bucks from China. Here's the vlog. Check it out. <laughs> Freaking awesome vlog. I was so hyped up. Yeah, and in this vlog I realized that I do not need a diode bridge, a diode lane, whatever. And also these, of course, you can power them with a freaking battery. So then I built this. This is a 3D printed case. And inside this case are five of these 400 kV high voltage generators, right? These are the small ones. This thing right here, this is a, well, a plug. Well, I don't know the name. EC3 says it right there. Perfect. As of now, I'm only using the XT60 plugs. I like them more, so I have to exchange this one eventually. And as you can see, I also put five switches on top of this thing. They are two-way switches, that's kind of nonsensical. Anyways, I had some of them laying around. And if I switch a switch, then the 3.6 volts from the battery, or more like four volts, will power one high voltage generator. If I switch the second switch, there will be two in parallel. If I switch all five, then there will be four in parallel because one of them is broken. But yeah, that's the progress so far. And with this thing and a little power pack, this is a 4P pack. Then I just need to connect these two and then hook up these two cables, like these two contacts right here to the Tesla and it works. And this is freaking awesome. So without further ado, here is the fully mobile Tesla tested on friends. Promise, here we go, fully mobile Tesla, friends. Just one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh, Okay, full power, all of them. Oh my god, so freaking awesome. And there will be more, there will totally be more. In the mentioned vlog where I found out about this, I did not know that the capacitors of the Tesla, they actually do not have a polarity. So you can connect the cables either way, doesn't matter. And what I have heard so far, not 100% certain, like 90% certain, is that these high voltage generators, they have a phase, they have a polarity. I was talking about that in this vlog, so check it out if you want to know more about the schematics. Well, not this any uh, working principle, I guess. They have a voltage multiplier circuit and this gives them a phase, a polarity. That's why diodes are not needed. So just these two 
and a Tesla coil. Now I only need to improve the Tesla because on the thin secondary coil there is a arc probably like this long and it's just arcing from the primary coil to the secondary coil and the arc on top is like this long and either my dad or my granddad said if I if I'm able to actually fix this lower arc then the arc lengths will get added together so this will result in a arc with a length like this. Imagine that, that would be freaking awesome. So in this vlog, I will actually try to improve this Tesla coil. So I guess I will see you there because that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button the way. Thankfully, no one got smashed by the Tesla arcs. Tesla arcs aren't that dangerous, but the voltage modules are actually very dangerous and I will get to that in another vlog very soon. I could have died literally a few days, a few weeks ago, not even joking. Anyways, bang the bell like crap. Pa to never miss Tesla coil vlogs, check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>